My name a No, I mean, my name's B-Rock. I'm a hunter, and I've been hunting these... Oh, I've been hunting since childhood, like many of us. <laughs> Today I woke up early because I should hurry to find a friend. Last night I found that he had been lost for a week already. Yes, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to The Frost's First Ones, a game about uh, top-down adventure. Kind of looking like a PS1 game, but with a little bit more flair than that. Kind of reminding me of... Uh, I think it was called Brothers uh, Tale of Two Sons, I think was the name of that game. I don't know why it gives me that vibes, but it uh, just does. B-Rock. It was an ordinary evening. I was preparing dinner. Nothing for Shadow to trouble. What are we having for dinner? Oh, the bonfire. Recently caught rabbit is roasting. Very nice. Uh-oh. B-Rock. Hello. Hello, Celia. Today is a very pleasant evening, isn't it? Somehow, we haven't met with Hendrick lately. Hendrick? Hendrick lately. I think for several weeks already. How are your kids? How is Hendrick doing? I had some pretty good prey yesterday. I'd be happy to share it with you. Thank you very much, but now isn't up to all this, B-Rock. I have bad news. It's really bad. I don't even know what I should do. What? What happened? Hendrick. Hendrick is lost. He went to the hunt eight days ago and hasn't returned yet. You say eight days, yes. It's a long time, but some were hunting much longer. I myself was hunting longer than the that once. Everything will be all right with him, I'm sure. You should wait for him with big prey. Don't worry so much in vain. No, B-Rock, it's... you don't know. Our youngest had a birthday yesterday, five years old, and Hendrick, he was so excited about it, he couldn't forget. Hendrick went for a day or two. I'm sure something bad happened to him. I'd go to find him myself, but I can't leave the kids. Yesterday, I went to the elders, and Craig just said I was making it up. He said that Hendrick had simply forgotten... Or got on good trail. Birok, I'm begging you. Please, Birok, find him and bring him back. Celia, please calm down. Everything with your unlucky husband is probably fine. Did he say where he went? Yes, of course. He said he went to the north. He wanted to go along the clean pass and then go around the mountain to the east through Beer's Grot and then come back. Celia, those are completely safe places. The Elder Craig told me the same, but Hendrick didn't come back. Something had to happen. Hendrick is a better hunter than me. And sometimes we even take the kids to those areas. Nothing could happen to him there. But, okay. It's not far at all. I'll go and get him back tomorrow morning. Oh, Birak, thank you. I don't even know what to do. Thank you. Oh, it's not a big deal at all. Here, come over here, click or tap subscribe, so that way you get notified of future videos and whatnot and giveaways in our Discord. Now, let's eat a little, calm down, and you'll take the rest of the kids. I suppose they're also worrying, but don't worry. There's plenty of content on the channel if you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Well, that's a really nice thing for B-Rock to tell that concerned wife and mother. Oh, it's the next morning. So, morning has come. I have to hurry to get there before dark. In the dark, it'll be very difficult to get on the trail. I must take equipment, some food, a fire mixture to light a fire, and I'll be able to go. I'll leave the village, and then let's see if someone has seen Hendrick. As far as I remember, several families live near those places, so Hendrick could go to them for pelts or supplies. All right, let's get supplied up then. What do we have over here? We got pelts for ourselves. Oh, there's some supplies there. I guess I see it marked. Perfect. I won't take a lot. It would slow me down. It's already enough for five or seven days. Leave the village. All right, let's get out of here. I should hurry and be on time before the dark. It would be nice to meet the locals and talk with them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Not bad. A little further in the North Pass is where Hendrick went. And a little to the west, there should be huts of forest dwellers. I think I'll go to them first. Maybe some one will meet Hendrick. Ah, oh, here we are. Mevi, the hunter's wife. Clear day. Greetings to forest hunters. My name is Birak. I come from a village in the south. Is it Birak? Birak? Burke, Burke, Birak. <laughs> we'll just say Birak. I'm Mevi. Or Mi Mevi? I always love these names. Like, you never know how to pronounce them. I'm just going to go with Mevi because this is my own story and I can do what I want. My husband is Morkant. He's now on the hunt. Do you have any goods with you? Morkant is going to go to the village himself to trade soon. But if you have anything of value to offer, we have a dozen rabbit pelts to trade. Ah. Wow. Has the game increased here? I'm afraid not at all, but Morkant has been very diligent lately, and we haven't traded for a long time, so it's accumulated. Ah, I got it. Unfortunately, I'm he not here to trade. 
I'm here not to trade. I'm looking for a friend. His name is Hendrik. Did you see someone like him? I can't say for sure. A week ago, some hunter came here. He and Morkant had a long talk along the fire. I was engaged in cleaning and salting meat. Morkant invited him to spend the night, and the next day they left early to hunt. They returned late in the evening. It seemed to me they found a common language. And the next day, the stranger left very early in the morning. Morkant told me that the hunter have a family and great difficulties in the hunt. Morkant is a kind person. He wanted to help that hunter. I'm glad that we were able to give him a good sleep at least. You should talk to Morkant. He should be back soon. Ah, it doesn't sound like Hendrik, but if it really was him, thank you very much. I'll wait for Morkant to return. Do you mind if I take a bon if I make a bonfire? Oh, of course, I'll help you. Let's go. Oh man, we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna have dinner. The music is nice. The music's nice, the wind sounds beautiful, and the lighting at night is gorgeous, too. I'm getting, I don't know why, but Frostpunk vibes? Oh, it's probably all the snow and the death. <laughs> well, nobody's dead yet, we don't know. Uh, several hours have passed, and Morkant still has not returned. Mevi says he'll be back soon, but I'm already starting to worry. Uh-oh. Another hunter lost, perhaps? Oh, there he is. Quiet night. Hello, Morkant. My name is Birak. I come from the village to the south. Mevi told me that you met with some hunter a week before. Do you remember his name? Quiet, Birak. Good to see you. Yes, he did. Let me think. It seems his name was Hadri. Hadri? Maybe Hendrik? Uh, yeah, probably Hendrik. So tall, over 40 years old, and with a small scar on his face on the right. He kept talking about his kids and wife. I think Celia? Yes. That's definitely him. Do you know where he went? He's still not returned. Celia's worried sick about it. Well, yes, he wouldn't have had time to return yet. He was going north to the spirit lands. Where to? Why did he go there? Mirak, your friend is very upset. He had some kind of celebration in his family, but he had no prey for strength at all. Nor strength at all. He said that they'd been malnourished for a long time. We went hunting with him for a day. We had a pretty good talk. I helped him. Told him where I hunt myself where there's a lot of game. I saw he needed this. People are rarely there, and therefore there are plenty of animals. Morkant, what? Where do you hunt yourself? Morkant, have you walked to the spirit lands? That's where those rabbit were. But in those areas, Levi, that's why I didn't tell you anything. It's all fables. There was nothing there, and never. I was uh, there more than once, and when I was a child, I went there with my father. Yes, I have heard many stories about those places, but all this isn't worth a quail's beak, only tales and fables. I think these stories were specifically, especially invented in order to somehow protect nature from us. More can't, but people, well, would they really talk about it that, in vain? Mevi, well, you yourself are very fond of these and other stories about spirits, and you always are ready to listen to it. That's not true, but now, please... Tell this kind man where exactly his friend is, because Hendrik is in great trouble, and that man must run to save his friend. And we'll talk about it later. We will. Oh, for crying out loud, Mevi, please calm down. Hey, Beric? Right. Don't listen to her. I'm sure your friend is okay. But listen, you should hurry up anyway. Your Hendrik must be dragging along a heap of game alone. He moves so slowly because he's a pity to quit. I don't really believe in spirits myself or anything like that, but Morkant is far away, and we can't, uh, we don't go far alone. He hasn't been there. He could get lost or fall through the snow. He could have been hurt by an unexpected predator. Anything could have happened to him. I don't think Birak Hendrik is a strong man. Nothing would happen to him there, I, I'm sure. He's really a very good hunter, but he still doesn't come back. It's about three days to go there, and if you're loaded... It would take twice as long. He wouldn't have had time to return. Okay, I understood. Please tell me the details about how to get there and I'll go. Well, listen. So. No, I want to know the details. Oh, well. Yesterday, I met a hunter from a neighboring village. According to him, Hendrik went north to hunt in the spirit lands. I am very surprised. We haven't visited these places for years. Once, one shaman got scared, and since then, a team 
Uh, team hunting has never been more in those lands. People are still afraid of it. But I understand, Hendrik. There was less hunting. Therefore, there should be less... There should be more animals. I followed him, yeah. Uh, that's what the name was, Spiritlands. This is just an ordinary forest. I should look around to find Hendrik's trail. There's been no one except Hendrik for many years. I think I'll be on his trail very soon. Okay, well, with no one around, I guess it's time to go find Hendrik. Because, uh, apparently, not a lot of people... Oh, boy, that's a deer. Oh, dear. Whoa! That's a stag. What a rarity. Goodbye, sir. Oh, there we go. Over the tree. Oh, a rabbit! Wow, there are lots of animals here compared to everywhere else. Now, where do we have to go? Wait, the rabbit kind of went up this way. Who man can go to? Good. Blood at the snow. What? This is blood. Eric inspects the blood in the snow. Something happened here one or two days ago. It's possible Hendrik passed here at this time. Perhaps it's Hendrik's blood. I should follow the trail to find out. The trail leads left. It goes up here. Hmm. Where exactly does it go? It leads up a slope. Oh, he went up here. Oh, I didn't think we could climb up here. That's cool. Am I going to be able to go down? Oh, there's a bear. There's a freaking bear. Oh, boy. I got to go. That's a nope. What is that thing? Birds? Okay. That's a trail. It led me to the sleeping bear. It's just a miracle that I stay safe. Apparently, the bear has caught a rabbit or some other small animal. I don't think Hendrik ever met this bear. Okay. Well, we found a bear. Could have been a grisly end, an unbearable fate. Luckily, the game has a pause. What does that say? Roots of tro a Tonro tree. Huh. Well, I think we should go up this way now. Well, we still have to look around. Well, there's more blood. But that goes to the same location. Hmm. Must be something around here. Alright, let's find out what's down this way. Oh, it leads back to that blood trail we saw before. So that must be where a bear caught one of the birds. Started eating him, I guess. He must be really hungry. Maybe down this pathway here. Well, there's also quartzite rocks and such there. All right, we're going up on the eastern side now, just on the other side of where we saw the bear. Looks like this could be a way out. Oh yeah, there's like a clearing here. Okay. I hear chanting. Wait, what's that? Okay. Alright, well, let's keep going this way. I'm looking around for, like, all sorts of enemies since we had to fight with a bear earlier. And by fight, I just mean, like, flee. And not die to death. Okay, the path seems to go left. Wow, lots of rabbits. Lots of rabbits. Whoa, there's three rabbits at once. It's amazing at how many animals are there. I see now in our native lands we are ex exterminated so much. When I return, I'll have to tell the elders about these lands. We'd have provided ourselves for many months in one trip here. There's so long conversation ahead. 
Hmm. I don't know if that's why we're here, but okay. Oh, another rabbit. An old Bora tree. Den. Wait, what? Uh oh. How unusually these trees have fallen. This is the first time I've seen this. Oh, what a shame. Bad time to hunt. After all, I'd have to drag my prey. I'd slow down. I doubt if Hendrix got in real trouble, but if he is, I shouldn't waste the time. Looks like there's rock slides and stuff all around us. Oh, a fox. A red fox. Wow. Rabbits. Well, we must be on the right trail. We're coming somewhere, but I can't tell where. Uh, is this like a dead end? Or... Yeah. We can go around here. I oh, did in there too. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Celerina bush. The bush always grows alone. It is a very noticeable red fruit, so it's very handy to navigate. Unfortunately, the fruit is impossible to eat. Very hard and bitter. However, some birds and wild boars eat them. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. There's a path that maybe goes left, but definitely goes right. Frosted tree. Very old. A timber that wouldn't hardly rot. Such wood can be used in the building. You can clear it from ice and storms. Oh, a very broken branch. And this? Ah, it's definitely a man's footprint. It should be Hendrick. Not clear exactly how much time has passed. A couple of days should be here. Seems I'm on the right path. Ah, there we go. We found him. So maybe up this way. Oh, yeah, this is it. Follow the trail along the ravine. Uh, let's go left. Right looks kind of like a dead end. Okay, so we can navigate with the red berries on the bush. Ooh, lots of bunnies. Wow, lots of... Lots of rabbits. Wow, three rabbits at once? It's amazing how many animals are there. Uh, I see now our native lands we have exterminated so much. When I return, I'll have to tell the elders about these lands. We would have provided ourselves for many months in one trip here. There's long conversation ahead. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I think we're going the right way. Rabbit behind us. Ooh, rock slides. How unusual. These trees have fallen. This is the first time I've seen this. Oh. It's a shame that how bad... It, it's a bad time to hunt, after all. I'd have to drag the prey. I'll slow down. I doubt Hendrick's in real trouble, but if he is, I shouldn't waste the time. Well, we better go quick. 
Oh, a fox. Looking very strange at me. Oh, I thought there was going to be like a cutscene and like an exchange or something. I thought we were going to chat. Right, I see more of those red bushes, so I think that's an indication of us going the right way. A man's footprints. Okay, we're going the right way. Hmm. Can't go any further, though. Perhaps here? Ah, yes. A passage through the ravine. The rocks collapsed a long time ago, forming a small passage. I should be able to go there. Good. Well, the passage is, oh boy, <laughs> dangerous with all these rocks. It seems I'm in the crevice between the rocks. It's a dangerous area. I can, course, I can cause a landslide. I've heard tons of stories about sad consequences of this. I must quickly leave this area. There are so many fallen trees. The rock fall begins. There would be very difficult to dodge. Fallen trees. The snow has not yet had time to cover everything. Why? The storm? Hendrick could be hurt in the storm. Ah, okay. So our friend could have been hurt by the uh, falling rocks. Or trees. Or both. Let's see. How do we get through? Oh, boy. Ah, uh, the roots of the tree are hard. Can't go through there. Okay. Oh, jeez. A giant owl. Okay. Well, I will be sure to make sure <laughs> make sure I avoid that. Let's jump on these rocks here. Boy, there's a rock slide here too. Hmm, where are we supposed to go? Oh, we can go this way. Okay. Okay, we're on the right track now. I guess we have to climb up here. Oh yeah. Nice, we made it. Um, I guess we'll go up this way. Oh, there's a rope hanging. Someone climbed up the cliff. Oh, we're definitely on the right track. Can I climb up there? The rope, Henrik's rope. I, I can be sure now I'm on the right path. It is only a slight ice cover. He left it here just a couple of days ago. If he went far, he would have had to take the rope with him, so he's somewhere in, close. Maybe right here on the top of the rock? I should check. Uh, Burke is waiting for an answer. Uh, he's not there. I thought he made camp somewhere close, but he doesn't seem to hear me. All right, it's not a big deal. I can climb up in a moment and look around and see what's there. Okay. Well, let's climb. I guess he gave a shout out to his friend. Huh. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh oh. What's happening? It's so dark. And the rope broke and I fell down from the rock. Miraculously didn't die. Seems I laid here all day. Rick tapes a deep breath. My back, oh! There seems to be a huge bruise. Oh, we can get up. That's good. I still have to climb up the rock, but now it'll be more difficult. Oh, we still have to go up there? Oh, I didn't even notice I hurt my hand. Damn. Oh, I want to sleep. At night, will be always very cold. I must make a bonfire. Should make a bonfire and go to sleep. Tomorrow I'll try to climb up the rock again, this time without a rope. Oh, boy. Find a place for the bonfire. Uh... Well, nearby would be good. Maybe down here? Ah, yes, this is a nice place. The trees around will protect me from the wind. Now, I need to collect some branches or small roots for the bonfire. We need 25. 
Oh, nice. Cool. Hey, we're into a survival sim now. All right, so we've got to survive the night by grabbing enough sticks and stuff for the overnight sleep, I guess. Uh, let's see. There's more. Okay, about ten left now. Maybe now that I found a nice spot, we can go back and look where we started. Perfect. Burb. Let's see what's down here. I wonder why Barrack would, or rather, why Hendrick would go up that way. Oh, it's too windy here. I need to keep warm, not freeze to death. Find a quiet place. Well, I'm looking for more stuff, though. We've got only three to go. So I wonder why he would try to climb up there and why he would leave his rope behind. One more. Can't go down there anymore. There's got to be one more piece around. There we go. Great. That's enough for a small bonfire. Okay, here we go. Great. I've collected enough branches for the night. Now I need to set them on fire. Light a fire. Uh, here? When I left home, I took with me a fire supply a supply of fire mixture to ignite the fire. The hunt is impossible without this. To make it, you need to boil the young seabor's roots for some time. Then the roots should be kept warm and moist until they start to rot. After five days of rotting, it'll smell of strong, pungent sour. Then it must be dried and grinded and mixed with fat, silicon powder. The powder must be prepared separately, but there's no time to do this during the hunt. And without this mixture, it's impossible to light a fire in such a cold. But we always take enough amounts of fiery mixture and keep it safe. But it's almost as all mine is spilled out, mixed with the snow when I fell from the rock. I think the remains should be enough for five or six times. I should be... I have enough more th to be more thrifty. The night without a bonfire would be very difficult. It's time to light the fire. And there it goes. Let's have a good sleep. Nappy time. Ah, it's very good. The fire crackles with warmth. I can directly feel my pack starting to relax. I sit a little here. Well, except for my injured back and my hurt arm, today's been a good day. I've definitely found Hendrick's trail. He should be somewhere close. The rope remained on the rock. He would have taken it with if he had gone far. Now, he probably, just like me, has made a bonfire and is already sleeping. Damn, Hendrick. You can't go so far alone and disappear for so long. I think tomorrow I will finally meet him, and this damn searching trip will end. The Spirit Lands. Once again, I'm convinced all these shamans are dullards who haven't been able to become good tanners nor hunters, so they make fables for the amusement of the crowd and kids. And why do the elders listen to them? For many years, we've been living in hunger, and here today I saw more wild fowl than in weeks of hunting our lands. When I return, I will tell that to the elders. Okay, I need to get some sleep. Oh, my back still hurts. It's a little hazy today. What a lovely morning. The fire's still on. I chose a good place. It was quiet at night. I must admit I slept well. And today I have to climb on that rock. Climb on the rock with my back and grind some fern leaves and put them on my back. That'll help. Christmas fern has always helped me so many times. I'll sit a little longer here and go back to the rock and think how I will climb up. Just buy a ladder, bro. That's all you gotta do. Just go to the hardware store. Oh. Inspect the rock and climb up. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so... We slept next to a warm fire. Gotta do a little bit of self-healing. Oh, he's actually kind of... Oh, yeah, look at that. He's walking a little differently now. He's gonna have to climb up like that. Oh, uh, the rock. You may wonder... What it's cooking, I mean, but the head is not working well. Maybe yesterday's fall affected me. 
Hmm. Well, there's a lot of ledges here. I need to climb up to the middle, then I should be able to move to the left and immediately to the right. After again to the right until I could grab that ledge. And yeah, there should be... It'll be easy to climb up. Good, I have a plan. It's time to get started. Okay. Oh, I see. We just gotta go... Oh, I see. It's a big old cliff climb. So how does this work? Oh, we gotta remember the path. Okay. So left, immediately right. Right again. Wait, I don't even know what he's saying, right? <laughs> I guess it'll be a little trial and error. I guess it'll just be wherever it looks clear. So right, up, up again, left, left again, right? Oh, it was a little too far. Okay. Wow, for real, they want me to actually climb it. Inspect the rock and climb up, okay. Well, I guess we'll just go the way he said. So, left, right, uh, right, up, uh, left, left again, okay. Left one more time, right, right again. Wow, it's dangerous as hell. I don't think we'll be able to jump up to one. Wow. <laughs> We're doing it. Hey, we made it. Yeah, I'm at the top. I was very afraid a couple of times that one moment my back was ached so terribly. I've already thought that the scratched hand would unclench and I will fall down, but miraculously, I withstood. So, where is Hendrik? I don't see anything. Mm, I should go a little forward. It should be somewhere close. Okay. Oh, there's a fallen tree. Okay. Any signs of our friend? Oh, I see a bridge down there. Wow. Looks like a boar is sitting between the rocks. Another day I'd be incredibly happy to have this meeting, but now I'm alone. It's so hard to cope with a boar alone. They're, uh, it's too dangerous. Well, even if I kill a boar now, such valuable prey will be lost. After all, I can't carry him on my own. That's not the time to hunt, however, together with Hendrik, we'd be able to handle this on the way back. Yeah, Hendrik still needs to be found. I'm still thinking here. The boar seems to have already noticed me and preparing to defend its territory. I'll try to lure it out and get around it. Lure it out? Hmm, where exactly is it? Is between the rocks. Can we go a different way? Mm, well, yeah, I might be able to go up here. Can I just... Oh, there he is right there, I think. Oh, boy. Can I just run past him? We're wounded, so it probably won't work. Oh, appar apparently he hit me, even though it looked like he was a little further away. Alright, well, we have to lure the boar out, but how? I guess we could go over the fallen tree and see exactly where he comes to. Looks like Henrik also went this way, so he could be around here somewhere. Let's see if we can lure him over here. Oh, there he comes. Oh, yep, he's coming. Nice. Get wrecked. Be able to jump up here. There we go. Okay. Did he go up here? Uh, we can't go down, but I probably have to get behind him, so over this way. Any signs of our friend? 
lots of, lots of these little pillar thingies here. What could these be? Ah, I did it. The boar stayed behind. Okay, we went the right way. What's there? I can't see the trees block the view. I hear some distant crackling of a tree. Maybe another boar is gnawing it? Or is it something worse? I need to sneak ahead a little to see what's there. Oh, well, let's sneak. Best we can. Oh. What? Uh, what now? Are these trees going to attack me? The trees are swaying and bending. Crackling and howling. Unthinkable. And the stones. The stones are floating in the air? How? How is it? Well, this can't be real. How can they just float? These are stones. The stones I know don't float. And the trees? The branches don't bend like that. I'm pretty sure about that. What is it? What am I looking at? I hear the crackling of the forest in one tree and the preaching and howling. But something else? The ringing is not from our world. Is it dangerous? Explore the supernatural phenomenon. Uh, the branches bend and twist, a crackling sound from another world. I can touch the tree with a stick. Feels like an ordinary tree, and I touch the tree with the hand, and it feels quite usual. Are my eyes and ears tricking me? Yeah, bro, must have been something in that uh, ointment you put on your back. Uh, can I touch one of the rocks, maybe? Oh, yeah. These stones are not real. I can pass my hand through them. They go right through. Did the spirits create this? Why would they do this? Do spirits really exist? What about Hendrik? Has he seen this too? What did he do then? Had he run away from fear? Seems Hendrik didn't turn back because he didn't take the rope back. I can see a passage between the rocks and the front. He could go there completely forgetting about the rope. Okay, well, let's explore the passageway. I see it right up there. Can I get up there? What are these trees doing? I don't understand what's going on here. I see, I go look at it, I hear, but I can't believe... Isn't it just a dream? What have I become witness of? Whatever it is, it doesn't extend further. It could be a warning. Am I going to break it? See the gorge in the front. I don't understand why Hendrik didn't turn back. I should inspect the gorge. Maybe I'll understand something. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. What is that? Hunting equipment. Uh, cloth covered. Only slightly covered with snow. Inspect Hendrik's equipment. This is hunting equipment. Trap, salt, a rope. Bodies of five quails and two rabbits. Hendrik carried it with him. Here is his prey. Did he leave it here? Perhaps he was frightened and... The equipment slowed him down for running, but Henrik, what are you what are you so afraid of? Hendrick. Nobody answered. Looks like he's not here. I should go further. Maybe find some more traces. Well, we should probably follow the red plant. Well, there's one that goes down that way too. Careful, I feel like we're going to slip at any time. Oh, there we go. What the hell's happening? Hello? Oh, Nancy Reagan, is that you? Oh, God. Hello? I'm going to keep running. Have I seen a spirit? I was inspecting the gorge. And then the earth trembled, the stones floated up, and I heard a loud shrieking of a hundred birds. When it became a little quieter, 
In the crouching creek, I heard someone's whisper, as if the spirit wanted to tell me something. But either he did not know the language, or the spirit speaks something else than words, something unknown. I didn't understand what I heard. I didn't feel the urge to attack from it. I wanted something different. I don't know what. I really doubt the spirit eats men. I, some reason, I really want to see it again, to understand what it is, the spirits. Find another exit from the gorge. Okay. Bones of an unknown creature. Ooh. Can I climb up here? This kind of looks like a path up there. In a weird way. Oh, it's just a root. Damn, I thought it was like a path. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of bones. There's lots of clues and stuff around here. Oh, old Christmas fern. Can I use that? He did say that he wanted to use that, but all right, I can't collect it. Well, this would be the way out then. I like how it gives you, like, information about everything you're seeing, so if you're curious, you can just hover over it and it'll probably tell you. So cool. Oh, it's woolly mammoths. Such huge skeleton. What kind of horns are growing right out of the face? Ah. So the gorge certainly had a lot of other creatures in it. Uh-oh. The abyss in front of me. Even if Hendrik was here and was frightened by the spirit, he still wouldn't have climbed there. I think there was another path behind me. I should return to see where that one will lead. I can't get through here anyway. Oh, we gotta go around. Okay. I can't go that way, can I? Hmm. We'll find the exit then. Maybe up here? Everything seems like it's possible, you know? Oh, rabbit. Oh, I want to get out of here so bad. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. Alright, so there's a giant ravine. Looks like we can go that way. There we go. I only knew this was here from what we saw when we passed down that way. Glad we went down there, though. Oh, boy. What could be down here? Oh, now it's daytime again. Oh, it's so bright. Looks like I finally got out of the gorge. The air is so fresh here. Barak took a deep breath and exhaled. Ah, with all this, I need a good rest. Warm up by the fire and think about everything. It's too windy to spend the night in such areas. Sometimes dangerous rock falls I wouldn't want to tempt fate more. The cave was quite small and only has one exit. If Hendrik got out, he had to only go this way. I'll go a little forward and then find a place where I can make camp. Along the way, I'll try to find anything about Hendrik's trail. Walk around the ravine on the cliff. <laughs> wow, what a place. All right, well, I can't go down here anymore, so we got to find that cave. Walk around the ravine on the cliff. Okay. Wait. You mean up here? Ah, okay. Uh-oh. Whoa. All right, we made it. That was close. Whew. All right, we made it right past the uh, the rock waterfall. What is that? Ooh, a giant owl again. Cool, we found a pretty cool cave. Well, kind of. That would require stalactites and stalagmites. It's 
It's so bright. It looks like the rocky area turns into the plain. But these bushes, it's impossible to find Hendrick's tra uh, trail in such an area. I have to go through them. Also, besides these bushes, I won't be able to make a bonfire. Okay. It isn't yet known how far I must go. Anyway, I should walk a little forward. Wow, there's a hell of a lot of birds around here. Where do we go exactly? Okay, well, we're still exploring. Um, ah, the bushes are everywhere. And I don't even see the snow under my feet. I'm already starting to get tired. Soon it'll become completely unbearable to go in these bushes. It's Selrina? I've never seen these uh, three bushes nearby. Whoa, but... Man, these bushes. It's Selrina? I've never seen even three bushes nearby, but there are hundreds of them. What a shame that their fruits are inedible for humans. There's so many. But quails and other birds eat them, and there are wild boars and rabbit too. They're a great area for animals. Yeah, he said that these bushes usually never grow near each other. Yet here, they're just absolutely everywhere, and on top of each other, and everywhere. Uh-oh. Is that blood? The blood of an injured animal. Where did it come from? I guess we go up here. Oh, it's a deer there. A Sika deer. What a meeting. A female deer with two fawns. The deer has an injured leg. It was scratched by some predator. She runs away, but the wound is serious. If she hasn't been getting help, she will die. And the fawns are still young. They won't survive without her. Yeah, uh, three deers can feed several families for several months. I just can't leave them. Also, there's much less Serena bushes so I can make camp here. I'll make a bonfire right here so the deer will warm up. After I should try to heal the wound, thus maybe they'll have a chance to survive. It's a little windy here, but I think everything will be fine. On the other hand, very beautiful. It's a wonderful place. Okay, we need to find firewood and stuff again. All right. Back to the old gathering habits again. I just need to find one more of something. Uh, oh, there we go. Great! That's enough for a small bonfire. Oh boy. Uh, light a fire. Okay. Oh, I see. All the sticks are there. Right. Twigs and roots. I have the fire mixture only four times. In such cold weather, I can't light a fire without it. I have to keep the mixture for two more times on the way back, so two more days. I must find Hendrik during this time, otherwise I'll have to return without him. I will wait a bit when the wind will subside and light a fire. Or now. Warmth! The fire always cheers me up while I'm not quite soft yet. I need to take care of that dough. Okay, let's help him out. I can clean a little and then bandage the wound. There's a lot of Christmas fur in here. I should, it should help if I grind the leaves and put it in the wound. I'll tear some fabric off my clothes for the bandage. The bandaging would be very painful, so if she gets scared, she would open the wound even more. I have to be careful. It's time to get started. Okay. Christmas fern. Uh, boy. Well, that looks like some right there. Oh, it can't go down there, though. Fern old. Huge ravine. Well, we're supposed to inspect the wound, but I don't see any uh, fabric around. terrible wound. It's not a boar. Someone with the sharper teeth. Perhaps a wolf. But if this... Uh, but if this is a wolf, how has she been able to run away and save the fawns? Anyway, it looks like I'm done. The wound will bleed and freeze much less. Let's see what will be at night. 
Uh, if she lies quietly, the bleeding will stop. The air will be dark soon. Finally, I can think about everything I saw today. Oh, man. What happened today? First, I discovered the trees from the spirit world. And a little later, I met the spirit itself. I had to be more involved in the shamanic instructions and uh, teachings. The spirit didn't look like a man. It was a floated... It was floated and had some kind of appendages at the legs area. Why did it appear? It is possible that the spirit wanted to warn me from Hendrik's fate. What happened to Hendrik? Hendrik left the rope on that rock. I think he decided to go further, look around, met those trees. Why didn't he come back? Hendrik had no need to take the risk. He has a family. Sila has no idea what Hendrik got into. Something made him run through the gorge. What scared him and made him throw away his equipment? He also met the spirit. I think the spirit didn't want to attack or warn us. I don't think it wants to scare us. Maybe it was trying to communicate? But what would the spirit want from us? Ritual dance and praise in its honor? It's too naive. I have two days left to find hein Heinrich... Hendrik, sorry. And then I have to return. Otherwise, I won't be able to handle the way back. Tomorrow I'll inspect as much of the area as possible. At least I know what I should do tomorrow. And now I need to rest. Oh, there's a Christmas fern right there. And that's what we wanted. While I was thinking about the spirit and Hendrik, it already became dark. Ado slept quietly at this time. It's a good sign. Seems the night will be calm. Nice. Wounded doe camping. I guess we're just going to chill here. Oh. I guess she's okay now. It was already a deep night. Suddenly the deer howled in pain, waking me up and one of her fawns. It looks like her wound has been opened. If I don't bandage her again, she'll not survive until the morning. I must hurry. Well, apparently that hurt. Let's try again. Hmm. Did that work? It was very hard, there was a lot of blood, but the worst is over. I had to rebandage the wound, so this time it did much better. I took too much fabric, I can't tear clothes anymore. If this bandage doesn't help, I won't be able to do it again. Oh wow. Wounded doe. It's now nighttime. Ah, good morning. So the morning has come. Quiet morning. The day is cold as usual. The doe is still breathing. After the second bandaging, she no longer woke up. Looks like it helped. Need to inspect the wound to be sure. Again with this? It's better. I'll wait a little longer and go further to continue the search for Hendrik. I did all that I was able to do for the doe and her fawns. Well, yeah, good idea to let them grow and then make more deer for more food later. True. Hi there. Oh, are they going to get up and go? There's a lot less blood. There we go. All right, it worked. Let's follow the deer. Wow. It's so nice that I decided to wait a bit more. I didn't expect this. But it happened. The doe woke up. She woke up and got up as if nothing happened. I'm very surprised. 
Of course, her wound still hurts a lot, but she seems to be able to stand the pain. Well, now I can move on. I have a feeling that everything will be all right with them. All right, let's get on Henrik's tail now. Find out where he went. Let's see. Where should we go now? Look around. Well, let's find where that blood came from, maybe. Ah, nice cold stream. What a unexpected find. Looks like there's deep liquid water vapor freezes in the cold and continues to rise. Somewhere we should go, maybe? Or not. It's a bonfire, and it's still smoking slightly. Just in time. I almost uh, despaired of getting on the uh, Hendrix trail again. I was going to turn back. Hendrix spent the night here yesterday. I need to take a look around here. Ooh, okay. Snow covered. This sour smell. The bonfire is made entirely from Toro roots. Burns for a long time. The fire could have stood for th uh, two or three nights, still smoldering. There are a bunch of footprints right here. He went there. I can only assume he decided to find a workaround to bypass the gorge. I have to hurry and meet him. Ah, okay. Oh, we have to go this way? Back under the water? Do I have to go that way? Oh, it wouldn't let me go left. Oh, now I can go left. Good. Oh, there's more blood. Uh-oh. I can hear that wolf. Oh, boy. Dunlock. All right. Well, it looks like there's more blood. Oh. Okay. I hear a wolf. Got to be nearby. Could definitely be where they attack the deer. Oh. Oh. There he is. Sneak through the wolves. Oh, he's eating, uh... Oh, the stag is down there. Maybe that's the stag from earlier. As well as the doe. But she uh, ran away with the fawns, so... Hey... Well, not that fawns. Wow, look at how beautiful this... Whoa, that is blue. Whew. It was extremely dangerous while she and her cubs were eating the stag's body. I crept very quietly nearby. Wolves are usually afraid of man and don't attack themselves, but for defending their blood, or if they felt the threat, they may attack. I was very lucky. Everything here is ice covered. I've never seen such strong icing. Seems I should go further over the ice. Seems the wolf met those deers right here yesterday afternoon. Hendrik should have walked past here two days ago. Wolves shouldn't have been there yet. Hendrik must be somewhere close. Some about two days, perhaps even closer. Wow. That's cool. We can walk on those little things. So far we met bear and deer and wolves, doe and fawn. We met everything. Owls. Oh, wait. Let's go up top. There seems to be a path this way. Oh, yeah. There's another owl. 
Just chilling. Literally. Hmm, we have footprints in the snow. Can't be our own. I seen Hendrik's footprints recently again. Hendrik was walking right here between the ice rocks. So unusual here. I've never been in such areas before. I should be on the lookout. Nobody knows what danger could be here. There are quite a few birds here. What attracts them? After all, there's nothing really growing here for centuries. It's, uh... Oh, it's up to us to follow the trail, I guess. I see a blue cliff over there. What is that? A rock? Yep. What could be up here? Uh oh. Deep footprints in the snow. There are so many birds here. Wherever you look, why are they here? Birds? Are you going to pay me back for all the dino nuggets? Birds are gathered along uh, the ice crevice leading into the cave. Hendrick's trail leads here too. The ice cave. I really don't know what awaits there. This is the ice cave. I can't go there. I just can't. Uh, well, uh, Sila won't rest if they refuse to help her. She'll go here herself and disappear too. I must find out what happened with Hendrick. Find out more for the sake of Sila and their kids. Find out something. Anything. And after all, Hendrik might still be alive right now. After all, the footsteps were just a few days, and I need to find out more about the spirit. After all, it's still not clear whether it's uh, really our enemy. What does it want? There's no other way. I have to go ahead. Wow, we're literally going into a massive cave. Oh, great flying rocks again. This is fine. So my fears are confirmed. The spirit's creation certainly in front of me again. The floating ice rocks, just like last time, are incorporeal. Soon, I'll meet it again. But I've already made up my mind. Climbing? No. Oh, we don't have a torch. Uh oh. Here we go. Deep in the cave, I found a mysterious item. I'm afraid to come closer to it. I can't really see the item. What is it? Ooh, what could it be? A mysterious item. Meteorite or something? What is going on? Q, Q man. Okay. Hello. Do you understand me? me? 
Uh, yes? Oh, great spirit, please listen to me. I come in peace. Forgive me generously. I have disturbed you. I came here because I'm looking for a friend. His name is Hendrik. Oh, great one, let me meet him. We will immediately leave your lands, and I promise no one will disturb you. Q man. Q hard to speak. Help. Learning. Or I think there's an app for that if you need help, Spirit. Don't you have a phone? Where are you going? I'm gonna go. I touched the item and suddenly a bright light appeared out of nowhere. I closed my eyes, the whistle intensified, and then I covered my ears with my hands, but it didn't help. When I opened my eyes, the spirit appeared in front of me, and then it spoke. And what I heard at first seemed to me these things were not words, or at least unfamiliar language, the enemy, uh, the spirit's language. But then I began to hear some uh, meaning in its words. It said it was hard for it to talk, and that it needs to help. Then the spirit disappeared. It seemed to me that it wanted to follow him. It wanted me to follow him. Oh. Well, let's follow the spirit. Here we go. Spirit. You're in our worlds. We need help. And you need help. I'm here to help. To give the knowledge. Oh, Spirit. I'm just a hunter. And I'm not the person whom you should give the knowledge to. A wise shaman lives in our village. I would bring him here for you. The knowledge is dangerous. The friend in the other world. The failure. Excuse me? My friend Henrik is in another world. Is he this in the spirit's world? Oh, great spirit has had... Oh, is, he, is Henrik dead? If you leave, I will have to wait for many of your years to be able to speak again. Please stay. Your, I can take you to your friend. We'll take you of, out of the time. Excuse me? Oh, great one. Thank you for keeping him alive. I'm very glad to hear that. I'm ready to follow my friend, but tell me, would I save him and would I be able to come back? I am not a spirit. I am... What the hell? Clocrericlacor. I need to learn. To speak and bring friend back. Need to know you. Need to understand how to give to you my knowledge. To save our world from destruction. Let me show to you otherwise you can't be saved. Alright, I'm down. Our worlds are in danger. The spirit wants to give me the knowledge. So Hendrik went through the same two, and now he's in another world. And he's not able to come back. The spirit failed to in, uh, endow him with the knowledge, but perhaps the spirit world will endow me. And if it's really... And if it's really will, I'll be able to uh, be back and save Hendrik. But if not, should I agree to this? To save our world? Is my world in danger? Is it going to get even colder? And if the spirit is right, I'll take decades for the spirit to speak to someone again. Then Hendrik will definitely perish somewhere out there in the strange, unknown world. And then it'll be too late for our worlds. Oh, great one, your will is too terrifying for me. I don't know what to do. I want to save my friend, and I want to help you too, but this choice is too difficult for me. I see. 
the decision in you, even if you can't say it. You've already made up your mind. I'm starting. Look around and find Hendrik. Wow, well, we're in the spirit world now? Where am I? What are high roots and what are these blue bushes? I've never seen anything like this. <gasps> Bro! Hey, Barak. What are you doing here? Hendrik, damn it, I've been looking for you for several days. Where are we? What the hell is that spirit? What's going on here? I don't understand anything at all myself. The spirit you saw it too? The spirit haunted me. One hunter advised me to go to these lands. There were so many prey. I was hunting all day and was about to return. Finally, I climbed onto the rock to look down from above. I looked around and noticed the trail of a wild boar. And then the earth suddenly trembled and the stones flew up and fog thickened. The trees began to bend violently. And then it appeared, the spirit. I was numb with horror. I dropped my equipment and ran forward. There was a gorge ahead. I ran through it in an instant. And at great speed, I almost flew into the ravine. The spirit had stayed behind. I didn't care about the drop prey and equipment anymore. I decided to bypass the gorge, but soon the area became quite unusual. There was heavy icing everywhere. Soon an icy rock blocked the, the way. I saw a passage, the ice cave, and then I noticed it. The spirit appeared again, blocking the way back. I had nothing to do. I ran inside. And then there was a bright light and very loud whistle. I ended up here. I was here for a few minutes and just started looking around. Then I saw you. Oh, wow. So time here passes differently. He was only here for a few minutes, not days. Didn't the spirit communicate with you? Communicate? There was a very loud whistle and crackle, but it wasn't speech. You speak so calmly. Doesn't it scare you? I'm scared to death. How did you get here? I followed your trail. I also met the spirit. Looks like I went through the same ser in search of you. Your footsteps were several days. You should have been here for at least a day. I just got here. I don't understand anything at all. Do you know something about the spirit? What is it? What did it want? Out of time. The spirit said something like that when he spoke to me about you. Said it spoke to you? Yeah, well, we've said that several times, bro. <laughs> he keeps telling him that, but he won't listen. The time, Hendrik. We need to get out of here. Perhaps it goes slower here. Not for us, but Sela and the other people in our village. If so, are days or weeks, months for them. Barak, this can't be true. After all... Time is time. It just can't go faster or slower. Henrik, it's, time. it's hard for me to understand myself, but it seems time is more complicated in our world. Trillions of planets. Planets, right? Barak. Did... What did you mean? The spirit wanted to give us the knowledge. It seems it really gave it to me. I'm now just starting to realize it. I see strange things. Uh, but now we have to get out of here uh, of this land. We need to go home to our world. If we don't return soon, there will be nowhere to return to. By our return, Scylla, your kids too may already be grow growing old. Also, our village may become extinct because it become much colder soon. Become much colder soon? I'm just starting to trust you for now. What should we do? I'm not sure. Maybe we should meet the spirit again, but uh, where are we? I don't know. Let's take a little look around in the rocky area. We, can see we can't see anything. We must go to find out. Uh, we, I guess we just got to look around. Okay. Go forward. Look around. Are we going to find a temple or something? Okay, well this seems like the right way. Or not.
Okay, maybe we have to keep going up this way. Oh, I see more bones again. Looks like it's a dead end. Yes, it looks like. We can climb up that rock over there. Uh, what kind of enjoyment do you have in climbing rocks? I wish I could get a rope now. I lost my rope at some rock. As the equipment, it was very expensive rope. Don't you have one? No. I almost uh, broke my rack, my rock, my back on a rock, because you. I saw it on a rock. Decided to climb up when I almost reached the top. It, it's, it broke. So I flew down to the rocky ground. Who sold it to you? Tell me who wishes you death. <laughs> Rory. Uh, forgive me. It withstood me. Yeah, okay. Just a little bit, and I would have been dead. Never mind. Well, we have no rope. Do you really want to climb? I think we'll have to. Come on, you can easily climb here. Ah, there we are. Okay, we'll have to keep trying. It'll be trial and error. Come on, baby. Yes, we made it. First try. Not really, but all right. Are you coming, bro? Ah, here we are. Hey, look. Ah, looks like we're... Ah, uh, there's the valley ahead. Oh, finally. More bones of unknown creatures. I don't think it's this way. All right, let's go this way instead. Maybe I can jump? Whoa! What is that? They are huge! Wow, where'd we go? Uh, the inhabitants of the past of a different life. Oh, I see! This might be during a, uh, well, it might be during, like, the beginning of the Ice Age or something like that. This is not the world of the spirits of our own. It seems like we're between worlds. The spirits sent me here after you didn't give the, the knowledge of how to return to our world back. We'll have to survive here. It'll take time. But you said yourself that we must return as soon as possible. This is another world. We won't return. Can't be true. The world is our world. There can't be two worlds. There are much more than two. I'm sure we're in another world. The moon. Look to the sky. It's only one. Yes. Looks like one. Well, so what? I know you don't understand, and I'll tell you later. I'll try for now. Please just believe. Our own survival is at stake. There are terrible dangers here, the beast you can't even imagine. We must find food and shelter. <laughs> what? We're here now? Like to stay? I thought we were going to go home. There's like a. Uh, Triceratops and Stegosaurus. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If there's dinosaurs, that means there could be raptors. Oh, sweet. We're going to find my, my people. Okay, we have raptors here, possibly. T-Rex, too. Oh, man. Uh oh and rock slides again. Damn it. Always with the rocks. All right, where are we going to go? Hendrick, what is this? Damn it, silence. Don't move. Oh, boy. Oh crap. He doesn't see us. Yeah. 
Rar. Okay, this is fine. Oh, he sees us. Great. Run, baby, run! I'm gonna follow my friend. Uh, let's not go that way. Oh god, he's coming. Go, bro! Oh, we're gonna have to climb rocks again? Oh, no way. Wait, I can't go... There's a passage there. Wait, I can't... Oh, my God. Okay. He's coming. I think we gotta go up here. I'm coming, bro! Uh, did we escape him? Uh, I think we should go up. Keep going, bro. Come on. We didn't go all this way to find you just to die. Uh oh. Is this a dead end? No, wait. It looks promising. Go, bro. Got an AI that's actually smart. Wow, how did he help the deep? Chase us all the way over here. He's hungry. Wow, all these waterfalls. He's got to have given up the chase by now, right? He should have slipped on one of the rocks. Or decided against coming over. Man, our friend is leaving us behind. Oh, God, he's right behind me. you got to be kidding me. Oh, oh, oh man. More rock slides. Come on. Looks like he found the way. It's still? Jump into the water. Okay. We're jumping. <laughs> oh. cold. There's so much water and the beast was left behind. We're saved. Seems like that. This time we were lucky. But next time it'll be much worse. We must find shelter and warmth. I was so surprised when I saw the water. This is a river, right? Just like in old legends. Have you ever seen the river before? Very nice that a river was this shallow. All the rivers in our lands have been frozen over for many years. None of us have seen rivers for a long time cold. Huh. So they must get water just from, like, uh, melting all the snow. Several days had passed. We found a shelter. I think it's safe here. Edible plants grow nearby, and we've already tasted local prey. Well, we won't die because of hunker. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Local prey is fine. Uh, no hunger for us. We, we grabbed a Snickers, I guess. I told Hendrik almost everything the spirit gave me about the uh, planets in the other worlds. I doubt Hendrik was able to understand that. In the end, we agreed uh, that our only hope is to meet the spirit again. We've been here for about three days, if if you're right. How much time do you think has passed for Scylla? I don't know. Several weeks, months could have passed. We can't find out more about this. We have... Uh, we have to don't be discouraged. Okay. Yes, we must keep faith, brother. Uh, it's all too much for me. Where do you think we should go to look for the spirit? The spirit needed help. He wanted to endow you and give you knowledge, bro. Big brain. Okay. Okay, we got, we gotta go. Let's go look for the spirit. Hardly understand myself compared to the sense of time. This is all important, but worded so strangely that it's not even making sense. Oh, come on. I know this is important, but come on.
Two weeks have passed since then. Hendrick spends all of his time in the mountains in search of the spirit's trace. Pretty sure it's useless. I'm not trying to stop him. I'm even glad he still has hope. Oh, wow, we have a little camp here now. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, he's coming back again. What's up, bro? Barak, I found it. There in the cave. I saw it. Oh, good, we found the spirit. Is it far? No. Very close. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Lead the way, bro. Look there, the cave. I saw some blue light there. I got it. Let's go and see. Inspect the blue light. Entrance to the cave. Ooh. It's here. Look, blue light from nowhere. I saw something very similar when the spirit appeared last time. Yes. It looks really like the creation of the spirit. Really, we'll finally meet it again. Inspect the cave. Oh, are these rocks floating? Well, it looks like they once were. Oh yeah, we're walking right through them, just like they said. They're like little illusions. Okay, let's go deep into the cave. Oh, there's a pathway here. Oh yeah, they're all floating. Do you see this? Incredible. Last time I saw something similar in the ice cave. We need to inspect everything here. Hmm. Well, we need to find some rock that we can touch somewhere around here. Look. Did you find something? Seems there was a pack a passage, but it collapsed. The rock fall is small enough. Let's try to dig it out. Yes, I think we can handle it. Oh, well, let's remove the stones. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, that was a lot of rocks actually. Oh damn it. How bright is it? Wait. What? Uh, what's happening here? Why did the spirit do this? I don't understand myself, but I'm sure we need to go further. We must meet the spirit. You know we can't go back to our home without him. Very dangerous area. All right, stay on your guard. Just run away if there's danger. Okay, just slow down. You're walking too fast. Okay, let's go quietly. Gotta be a stone around here somewhere. Hmm. Wow. It's very high up here. Why did we get here? Let's go back. I see something down there. Look. Where? I don't see anything. Oh, damn. Like a spaceship or something? I don't... Can't really tell what we're looking at here. Oh, you again. Oh, a lot of them. Hi, guys. Greetings, humans. Oh, great spirits. <laughs> oh, great spirits, we've longed to meet you for a very long time. 
Not the only one. Not the one, the two. Do you both hear us? Your speech is very difficult for us, but we understand you. My name is Hendrik, and this is Barak. I am uh, B-Rock. B-Rock and Hendrik in a parallel world. Please tell us why you got here. Oh, great spirits, let us return to our world. Listen, us. We are guests from another world. We had visited you a long time ago. We strive to know your world and you, the ancient people, were frightened by the anomaly and fled. But some just had stayed in your world. The technology has covered part of the planet. Let them to live there. The rest are your ancestors. Part of your planet was protected by a dome where time goes faster where influence of the anomaly was not substantial. There the technology cover part of your planet. The technology controls time. The technology controls the weather. The technology allows to survive for everything inside. Your world become the only one in the anomaly. Where are the living? We are only able to speak in the anomaly. We can only speak to you. Devices of the ancient people don't work in the anomaly, whereas the world's uh, convergence. Ancient people were afraid of the anomaly and are still afraid. Uh, the time passed, and we observed your world and saw how it became cold. The technology that saved you and your world is crumbling. There will, it will get colder, and so on, where you can't survive. If your world will die. We would never be able to speak to you humans again. The humans' help is essential to stop the anomaly. We need your help. To save your world and ours. How can we help you? You are unable, unable yet, so you have the strength to understand, the strength to remember. If you won't go with us, we can't, we gotta get back to my family. You bring us back to our world and in our time? We have the ability to bring you back to your world and your time. But you should know that then after many years, this will lead to the death of your world and much later ours. Without you, we will be strengthless. You need both of us or is one enough? Would we be able to refuse? He or you... You or he, two or one or none. The choice is yours. Only by choosing yourself will you find yourself at the end. In fact, we can go home. I'll see my family. What awaits us if we agree? Can we go back? How can we save our world and our village? You re receive the knowledge, get to know yourself. What is near and what is far. We have to know what your world is, and then you'll know what ours is. The knowledge will change you. Uh, it will change you and the way back will cease to be your way. And then you'll find yourself in your world again later in the generations. You'll be old and unfamiliar, but in the native world. Having learned how to influence, how to create, how to restore. Then you'll be able to help from your world where you, we can't. The way back will cease to be the way. This is how I began to feel. It seems to me that we've already gotten too much knowledge. I want to move on. Henrik, I will go with them, and you return home. Stop, I'm begging you. No, you must come back with me. You mustn't. No, I want it myself. And you have to tell the people in the village that the cold will come. Get them ready. You all must survive as long as possible. You will have to explain everything to them. Make sure they believe you. Prepare everyone. Goodbye, Henrik. Goodbye. Virok, our village needs you, not me, after all. With all your knowledge, only you can prepare them. You must come back with me. Pirak, come with us. Henrik will return to his world and his time. It will be so. And so it begins.
the frost first ones. Well, there you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Game is like uh, two dollars and fifty cents, but an interesting story, and I think they did a good job of making it uh, kind of a cool ending. I get it. I see what they were going for. I like it. Hendrik, is that really you? Celia, I've come back. From where? What it was? Are you okay? Yes, everything is alright. You won't even believe me when I tell you what happened. What does this all mean? And your friend, he went after you last week. Craig is about to send the team to find both of you. Barak will not return, or rather, I don't know. Maybe someday we'll meet again. What? What happened to him and to you? We met spirits. They were not spirits, they were inhabitants of another world. And Birak, he went to live with them and learns from them. What? I don't understand anything at all. Our times are coming. Cold weather that no one has ever seen. Celia, our life won't be easy. We must change. We must adapt. Our kids are still uh, so young. We educate and prepare them. It will be difficult, but I'm sure we'll cope, survive, as we always survive. The years will pass. And I believe someday our kids will meet with Beric again. And with those who will come with them, who knows? I'll see you next time. Goodbye.